In a nutshell, this step requires you to simply admit that you have a problem. That's it. Now let's take a trip back in time. Remember, if you will, for a moment, your high school career. You had dreams and hopes and aspirations. Well, what did you want to be when you grew up? A doctor, lawyer, teacher, movie star, athlete maybe? Most of all, when you peered 10 to 20 years into your future, did you see yourself as a happy person? Was your future self someone who made all the right choices, resulting in a joyous and successful life? Now, take a look at where you are today. How's that all working out for you? Not quite what you envisioned? Welcome to step one. Step one is both the easiest and the hardest step. It's the easiest because, in theory, if you're even contemplating taking this step, you know you have a problem and something needs to change. It's the hardest because it's the first step in completely changing your miserable life. Now, nobody likes change, but don't worry. Uh, this step requires no change at all. Step one simply requires you to take an honest look at your life and admit that things have not turned out exactly as you've envisioned them to be. So here's a few step one fun facts. First, it's the only step that involves any form of physical addiction. The rest of the steps focused on emotional and spiritual growth. Two, you don't have to be an alcoholic or an addict to take this step. Just simply replace those terms with the one of your own choosing, uh, overeating, gambling, gossiping, jealousy, sin, whatever. Three, a journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. And four, it's the only step that you must get 100% right prior to moving on to the next step. The rest of the steps only require completion to the best of our ability. The key to step one is admitting out loud to others the nature of your defect. In the rooms of recovery, we call this identifying. Hi, my name is Guy, I'm an alcoholic. It's that simple. I know, I know, it's embarrassing. But trust me, it's necessary. I'm John, and um, I'm an alcoholic. Hey, John. John. Hey, John. All right, time for some writing. Uh, take out a piece of paper and uh, make two columns, like so. Now in the right column, uh, write all of the good things about your addiction, whether it be alcohol or drugs or overeating or whatever, everything that it's done for you in your life that's been good. In the second column, write all the bad things, everything your addiction has done to contribute to your life falling apart. Uh, we'll take a look at your list on the next step. If you want, take some time to walk through the attached step one worksheet as well. There are some tough questions, but uh, they'll help you get some perspective. All that said, you don't have to follow any of these guidelines I'm laying out. They're just suggestions. That think of it like skydiving. When you launch yourself out of a plane at 15,000 feet, it's suggested that you pull the ripcord at some point during your descent. Now, you don't have to. It's only a suggestion. <laughs> the choice is yours. See you on step two.